Hello and welcome everyone to part 15, chapter 16 of the Fire Emblem Engage Maddening Female Only Run. Uh, in this one we get the, the we are revealed to the 12th and final uh, Emblem Ring, which is arguably one of the best ones with the best inheritable skills, so looking forward to getting this one and then we can kind of really work on our um, skill inheritance stuff. Uh, and there's also a pretty big chapter coming up next after this as well, so... But, we won't look too far ahead, let's focus on this one here, so sit back and enjoy the story. With Emblem Corrin added to our ranks, each country's rings have been collected. All right. No more rings in the wild. Between us and Sombron, they've all been taken. Let's consider the situation. There are five emblems on our side. Lin, Lucina, Ike, Byleth, and now Korin. Meanwhile, the Fell Dragon's got seven in his grubby claws. Most of them are old allies. Marth, Sigurd, Selica, Micaiah, Leaf, and Roy as well as another emblem ring his forces stole from Lethos, the Azure Twins. To gather all twelve, we will need to face the enemy directly. Are you proposing we invade Illusia? Returning to Illusia already? Yeah, that's gotta be complicated. Indeed. But that aside, invading Illusia now would be a mistake. They have a clear advantage. Seven emblems to our five. The worst case scenario is that they steal more of our rings. That's what concerns me. If that happens, we can abandon all hope of defeating the Fell Dragon. But the longer we wait to attack, the more likely it is they'll attack us. It's best that we strike first. One never wants to be on the wrong end of an ambush. But we're not ready to take the offensive. Rock in a hard place, huh? Pardon the interruption. Commander, what is it? Word from the port of Solm. A number of warships were spotted on the horizon. Judging from the crests on their sails, they appear to be Illusion vessels. They're attacking the Queendom again? No. In fact, the fleet sails toward Firine. My kingdom. We'd better take a look for ourselves. Let's head to the Azure Coast. It's near the border, and it's got a clear view of the sea. At this rate, we'll be the first ones in Firene. It would seem so. Wonder why Zepia told us to go ahead. Our orders are to kill everyone we see, right? With this kind of head start, think of the body count we can get. We'll be heroes! Seems like Zepia's really taken a shine to us. Don't you think, Mavir? I do not particularly care. I have my orders, and I will follow them. <laughs> can't stand you. You never praise me, and you're no fun at all. I thought Chris was bad. At least he's not the boringest man in the world. <sighs> Lady Marnie, Sir Mavir. You got something to report? Two soldiers have deserted the fleet. Hmm. Perhaps they had reservations about the current strategy. Whatever. Leave them be. We'll catch up later and beat the daylights out of them. But they took an emblem ring. What? Explain. As a precaution, we kept each ring on a separate ship in the fleet. These soldiers attacked the guard on watch and stole the ring of the Azure Twins. Warships are already in pursuit. We will take chase as well. The ring must be returned at any cost. These soldiers, what are their names? Rosado and Gold Mary. Princess Hortensia's retainers? I thought those two were behaving themselves lately. No longer, it seems. Do we know where they went? They were headed to Solm by Wyvern. All right. Turn this ship around. Take us to the coast of Solm. Ugh. We were in the lead. Those two are in heaps of trouble.
We're in Solm now. I think it's safe to say we lost them. Perhaps we should pause for a moment then. I'm sure your wyvern needs to rest her wings. Good idea. Let's take a breather and then start looking for Hortensia. We have to make sure she gets the ring of the Azure Twins. Indeed. Aha! There they are! Let's seize them! Is a few minutes rest really too much to ask? Let's get out of here, Goldberry. fleet all right and it does look to be headed toward Firene. we have to get there before they do that'd be nice but look we've got illusion soldiers on the beach you want to attack again huh i'll give you a good old-fashioned solmic welcome that's not enough troops for an invasion it looks more like a search party divine one there's a wyvern coming this way they must have spotted us everyone at the ready You're not hurt, are you? I was so worried. Not as worried as I was! Oh, I'm so happy you two are alive! Nice to see you and your retainers back together again. The Divine Dragon! Watch out! Put that away, Rosado! I'm on the Divine Dragon's side now. My sister is too. Princess Ivy as well? If you're being held against your will, blink three times. I swear, it's not like that. I wanted to join them, so I did. I made this choice for Illusia. Question is, as my retainers and my friends, will you join me? All right. If this is what you want, then it's what I want too. Whatever banner you're under, I will defend it with all my might. Good. I knew I could count on you two. Um, Divine One? Sorry for drawing my weapon on you. Here, this is yours. Is this? The Ring of the Azure Twins. We stole it from the ship we were on. Thank you. Good going. <laughs> I hope my dazzling abilities do not blind you. This is just what we needed. Restore calm! Emblem of the sacred! Finally, I am returned to your side. My name is Erica. I raise my sword in hopes that peace will come to this world at last. I know we can depend on you, Erica. Now, which of you should I give this ring to? You're both to thank for bringing it here. You ought to give it to Rosado. Rosado flew us here. He was instrumental in our escape. You were too, Gold Mary. But there's no time to argue, is there? Lend me the ring, and I promise, I'll do my part. It's settled. Here you are, Rosado. Finally! This is where those thieves ran off to, right? By all accounts, yes. Now, we sniff them out. Alright, so, we have two new allies, one of which is female. Uh, sadly, the male has the emblem ring. Uh, pretty unfortunate, but um, we also... I, I did some testing on this. This dragon right here cannot be touched by anyone else except for the Erica user. So, I'm going to have to use Rosado to kill 
this dragon, uh, possibly this other one too, I'm not too sure. Um, but thankfully the rules do allow us to use males on the chapter they are recruited, so it doesn't break the rule. Uh, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, Gold Mary is a good one to get though, so... Um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to drop some of the equipment that Tamara's got because I want to trade some of it to uh, Gold Mary. But for now, I think the strategy is going to be to just kind of swarm up and then go around because we want to get to this house first. I'm not sure what it's got, but once we deal with this dragon, we're going to go up. So, with that in mind, let's put you there. You, actually, you can go there. No, you go there. Um, I think that looks good. Yeah, let's go with that. So yeah, sadly you'll see me use Rosada for the first couple of turns, but hopefully that's it. <sighs> Moments ago the beach was dry, and now the water is up to my ankles. The tide here seems to rise and fall at a moment's notice. Try to keep me on dry land, will you? Ugh, I'd hate to be stuck tromping around in the water. So, if you're found in the water, your movement pretty much goes to nothing, um, unless you're a flyer. Our side's cuter for sure, but by the looks of it, theirs might be tougher. Worry not, Rosado. With my power, you can punch through even the hardiest foe's defenses. You may also call upon my twin brother's abilities if you like. So, I'm hoping during this run, um, the audience will see really what Erica's emblem's all about, because I do think it's one of the best ones, personally. Just gonna do this on everyone here. I don't know if there's any reinforcements during this level, but, um... I think from memory we definitely want to go up though. But first things ahead. first. Let's deal with this. Cuteness combined. Be able to get some Devoted hits on it. Yeah, we can do a little bit of damage. I think that for, I think you have to get it for the first time, and then you can choose look at that damage. Cool. I've got this. It's a lot, isn't it? With elegance. Then I'll be banking on it. Anything for you. Okay, so it looks like it does a blank at 38 no matter who attacks it. I think it ignores defense. What a lovely scene! Um, okay, you actually do nothing, which is crazy. I think we go for this. I mean, it can't kill me. Say we we love speed taking here. Yeah. Actually, 
actually, you may not get speed taken. Oh, we did get speed taken. Okay. So that's the first one dealt with. Um, Power blooms in me. We can heal you up. And also quality time. I think I have that unlocked. Perfect. Look at that. Almost full again. Okay. Let's work our way up. Let's get some better items for you. Sure. I guess I won't take the killer lance. Okay, now let's send them all up. Me. For the divine dragon. Here I go. So I think it's a trap to try and guide you up the middle. Um, there's a car driving past, erratically. Um, so let's... What kind of bow do you have? A radiant bow, wow. The three magic attack. It's just speed. It's a slow. Uh, so you're gonna do 21 to me. Okay, I know that I can do more with other things, but I kind of want the backup stuff, so let's do that. Okay, I'll take that, honestly. says that you have that. Right. Who in a day's work? So Anna's now got herself a little horse. Um, this one off. I have to do the dance here. Yeah, I think I have to, because I can't use Rosado.
guess I'll get you in the game too. to draw out the Oh your avoids up because you're near that. Okay. Let's go here. Do that and then Fram can do a chain guard. The your avoid should be really high. 127. Oh yeah, you're not going to hit me. Well, you shouldn't hit me. Um, what do you got? The silver side, iron side. Honestly, I might just let you try and have a go. saying we need to kill this uh, Radiant Bow user. Also these ones.
sure about that one. I mean, I can kind of deal with... Oh, I just don't want to get frozen. It's just... Inconvenient. Okay. Let's deal with what we have to do here. Especially with them now having like no mobility. Oh, he does. These two don't. Interesting. I think there's an effect on this cavalry, I should say.
go to my head. Okay. You can have the ammo back just in case I need I need it again later. Getting more tense here with that's interesting. Not having these two is pretty unfortunate. Um. Okay, we need to weaken this. Maybe a crit? Back up to work. Uh, we're gonna have to involve Lapis. Can you kill? No, not quite. Unless I do that and go there. Okay. Right. I won't falter. I'm guided by the emblem. Need that crew on the last turn. Okay, let's go there. Maybe with the boost you get it. Thunder, isn't it? So it can't get you back. Yeah, I can't get you back anyway. 
these accurate free stuffs. Hmm. Okay, so there are some reinforcements. Including a bow. Where's that L wind? matter because I get the draconic hex debuff. So yeah we take some damage but yeah that debuff might might matter. I probably could have worked out if it would matter, but oh well, we're here now. Let's say it did. Positive of that is no one's frozen. The negative is it's only really Chloe down there. This might be a torrential raw time. Mm, I can probably make it work.
Exactly, a, uh, is that my strongest weapon? No, why didn't that sewer lance do anything? No, it does. Hmm. Let's just take it out with this. Gotta dodge this. You were beautiful while you lasted. It's unfortunate that hit, but it's okay.
we love a good lemon soda here. That's a good level up. Closer to a full engage meter. Oh, okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, so there's definitely a range there, but back out. Anything like the last one. Oh, some reinforcements, you say? Let's see if I can hit it for a tiny bit. 
Not big here though. Is that my strongest weapon? Yes. Really? does barely anything, and that does nothing. Uh, I'm gonna use Rosado again. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sit you there. If this is war, so be it. I think those are the only two attacks Rosado does this map. Yeah, okay. Man, these, these lines are hard to see. You got another freeze. Jeez, okay. Whatever you ask. Take his max out on both of them. Um, probably want to be careful of this archer coming down here. Can I even see what I can do here? Radiant bow, magic attack. It's actually gonna hurt. It's so gonna do like 20. I do this. Just to make super sure of it.
wonder if that means the bonded one doesn't didn't go off the 90% because or if it just means that that takes priority. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that one works. Oh. stuff in play here. Ivy, although, oh jeez, I got scared then, I thought I was going for Ivy. Okay, we've got something to take out now. I can including, do more. Including this. If I die, I might be in trouble actually. I suppose I can do it again, yeah. It's not the end of the world, but I'd still probably like to. Me. I won't let this 
go to my head. Okay. What do you got? Killing edge. Nice. Yeah. This needs to go for sure. It's better than you. But you can't kill it. You? You can't either. percent chance. Allow me to Perfect. Thing, Rosado. Come on, man. So, the only concern now is if they double up on Panette or Alir, but this doubles there. They'll surely go for the doubles, right? Oh, Rosano, you're frustrating. It 
it's frustrating that you're gonna die to this thing. It's risky. I'll see what happens. I might hold you up until the end. Attack no matter where you go. Oh, I don't freak out. Okay, I think we're good then. send you up to go grab that thing. Map done. I mean, I can probably go. I'll send Rosado to do some laps of the map. Yes. <laughs> 
these draconic hex users that can just poke from free range are so so handy. Retribution is due. Rosado, what do you got? Give me something good. Yeah, I saw those troops on the shore. Be careful, all right? And take this. Might help. Recover. Could be better, could be worse. No, because the shore's going to be on there. Kind of stall this out so Rosado can go back and get this. Whatever that is. Um, and then we'll take them on. Worst case, it's money, you know? It's worth doing. Actually, I'll get the land. Ah, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna recharge back to. Was it worth it? Nope. <laughs> it 
it's okay, we're about to fight. Okay, what's your defense at? 35. System. Wow. Is that really my best option? No, it's gonna be Ivy, isn't it? I'm inside for sure. Or even Sailing? No, it's Ivy. Considerable. Think anything happens here? I shall get the nightly escort over here. Silence? Oh no. Or did I dodge it? I just dodged it. Whew, lucky. Ah, the water's in. Love a good radiant fire. Weaklings. Fine. We'll call it. 
party then. Next time, though, you're dead. Super duper dead. In what world is that even? <laughs> oh, Master Seal, I've got a thousand of them. I remember there was a point I couldn't get enough of them, and now I have too many. Bram, the silence. It's weird. Don't even have any spells. Or um, times, I should say. Little poke. Little poke draconic hex. No sounds as it go. I mean, if you want to keep silencing them, you need a lot to So just mob you know, left. I don't think it's too scary. The scariest part of this map is the tides. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Sure. Go get your own weapon. Like Okay, now you're going to attack me with a flame of lands. It's a two range. Um, get your speed out. Slow. Resistance high. Pretty even. I mean, the answer's Ivy. It's always Ivy, right? Always Ivy. Should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. Stay back. Cut. Rest now. So good. Once again, we can kind of just farm for EXP, yeah. Watch this! Ah, uh, who needs a level? This will get you in the range of these. It's a lot, but that's fine. You can just sit there so you're getting some backup here too. Not sure. No, oh, it's torrential law.
much I'm gonna dance with you. For now, but we will meet again. Big level up to finish, come on. Oh, <laughs> I mean, they're probably the two most important things for the net, so it's okay. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of story coming up, and then uh, we'll sign off at the end. The Illusion soldiers have fled. Marnie and Mavi are too. Now we can head to Firene. Yes, right away. If those ships made landfall, then my people are in danger. Almost a shame we'll arrive in Firene soon. I'm surprised you came with us, Sepia. You're so loyal to Papa. I figured there was no way you'd approve of this. Oh? Well, your father is my master. But lately his orders have been somewhat concerning. I know exactly what you mean. He thinks nothing of killing people. I have the same blood in my veins, of course. Maybe it's natural people mistrust me. Oh, Lady Vale, no! I heard about those awful things the Divine Dragon said. That you killed Lumera? Stole the rings? If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word of it. After hearing who your father was, the Divine Dragon probably said that to hurt your feelings. Hmm. I've decided I won't harm anyone, ever. Even if it costs me my life. So, I'm not going back to Papa. I don't want to destroy this world. How kind-hearted of you. If you two really want to help, then after I've cleared up this misunderstanding, will you help me find my sibling? What a silly thing to say. You are Lord Sombron's only child. You have no brothers or sisters. That's not true. We've met. Look at this. How beautiful. It looks like a dragonstone. It is a dragonstone. A thousand years ago, I was crying, and one of my siblings gave it to me. I remember it well. Even though I can't stay with you, I'll always be your friend. If you're sad or lonely, remember, if this stone is intact, that means I'm still alive. As you can see, in all this time, 
It hasn't even cracked. But that means... What does that mean? It means my sister is still alive. And I'm going to find her. Perhaps with her help, I can convince Papa to end this horrible war. <sighs> Sophia, is something wrong? No, I'm just so... moved. After we've finished our business in Firene, Gris and I will help find your sibling. Thank you. I've been looking on my own this whole time. You two will be a big help. Look, Lady Vale, Firene on the horizon. Why don't you take in the view? Maybe reflect on what you'll say to patch things up? Good idea. <sighs> Another one of Lord Sombron's children survived? First time hearing of it. I don't understand. They all perished in the war a thousand years ago. All of them except Lady Vale, who was too young to fight. I watched it happen, Gris. Watched as each and every one of them met their end. Unless... No. What? Remember something? It's only a hunch. But if I'm right, we may have a problem on our hands. Good thing we heard this before she fell asleep. Yes. After all, once we've gotten to Firene and uncovered the truth, she will never awaken again. All right, big events brewing in the story. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, feel free to leave a like and some comments, suggestions, or anything like that. I will read them, I promise. Um, but yeah, look forward to the next part. I'll try and do a paralogue or two in between, so the levels and skills may be different, but never fret. Everything's all above board. So um, as always, peace. Thanks.